just Jazz Rose. Yes, I'm wearing a wig. I did not shower last night because I couldn't be bothered. Sorry for those noises. Phoenix is sitting in the doorway. Thank you. Um, another thing is you may have noticed if you've watched my videos before, um, I'm not in Phoenix's room anymore because Alex and I moved out of Mum's house and it's really cool. But this house is really hot. Like this wig is making my head sweat so much, but my hair is disgusting. So yes, Alex and I moved out. This wall is orange. That's not what the whole house is. Like this is the only orange wall. I did want to film a house tour before any other video, but the house keeps getting messier and messier and I have no time to film that. Like, I have no time to clean so I can film it. So you'll just have to deal with this video, which is going to be not that exciting. It's going to be me showing my artwork. So that's something you may not have known about me. I am an artist. I love to draw. I don't really do it much anymore, but I just love designing. Um, well, that's like now. Back in the day, I just drew all the time and... I get better and better over the years. I'm going to show you two folders that I have and they are full of drawings. I hope this lighting is good so you can actually see them. Alright, here's the first one. This is like the earlier one. These aren't in order, but you can tell that they're the older ones if they suck. <laughs> Alright, so this first one... Okay, you're going to get a lot of One Direction. <laughs> This first one is Louis Tomlinson. I actually don't know if it's finished. I just couldn't be bothered. There's the full, yeah. I hope you can see, look at the detail. This one is the very first One Direction drawing I ever did, if I can hold it properly. Uh, I think I did this in 2012. I don't know if you can see. Hang on. So I did this in 2012. It's of Harry Styles holding up a piece of paper saying, I love you. Okay, so there's that one. This one is my very favorite. It's of Louis again. You're gonna get a lot of Louis. So it's of half of his face. I don't know why I love this one so much. I think it's the detail. Like, it's not even that detailed or that good. It's just like, I just think it's amazing. <laughs> oh my God, it's not One Direction. Um, okay, I got some new watercolor pencils and I decided to try it out. I got this photo off of Tumblr, I'm pretty sure. And look at her neck, my god! This drawing is also no One Direction, surprisingly. Um, okay, it's just a cat. Oh, I'll go on this side. It's just a cat head on a man's body wearing a suit and says meow. I drew this because I was always fascinated not really. F I don't know. How, I don't know how to explain it, but I thought it was cool seeing animal heads on people bodies, and yeah. So I actually like ended up painting this. It's at Mum's house. Painted this for school, and it turned out really well. This isn't a drawing, but it's a printout of a design that I made before I started Smudge Clothing. Um, we were doing this activities week at school, and my um, activity that I chose for the week was t-shirt designs and that's what I came up with and I actually ended up screen printing that design on a singlet which I don't know if I have anymore I think I do um, also t-shirt designs I <laughs> it's a rainbow coming out of a guitar out of a zebra print guitar I submitted that to a t-shirt competition held by some company. Um, I didn't win. There was people better than me, surprisingly. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what it was. Can you tell I was obsessed with rainbows? This is Pikachu pooping rainbows while flying. No, not, not really flying, but like jumping through the air. I had a huge canvas over a meter long and I ended up I ended up painting this on the canvas. This next drawing, I did copy like exactly what I saw from something, but I'll still show you. It's, I don't even know, it's like a narwhal putting a hole through a dragon and it's pretty cool. Next, of course, I need to draw YouTubers. I drew Anthony from Smosh back when he had his emo hair and I, 
<laughs> he has a gorilla nose. I don't... Sorry. This I also copied from a photo from Tumblr. It's Gerard Way as a Powerpuff man. <laughs> okay, gonna show you some exciting things now. Okay. This might mean nothing to you, pair of kings, but like that, yeah, back with my Mitchell Musso obsession. Don't judge me, okay? Um, anyway, so his show, Pair of Kings, was needing some promo. Well, not really, but like, it was coming out on Disney Channel, and Mitchell was holding a competition. I think the competition was to like, draw or make any sort of promotion for Pair of Kings. So, I did two. I drew this, which was amazing. Well, I thought. Everyone else thought as well. Um, I'll have to skip a couple of pages. And don't judge me for this. I drew this as well. They look very high, but I drew that and they both won. And I won like a signed sticker, signed photo, and a t-shirt, I think. I was embarrassed with this drawing once my drawing started getting better. So I decided to re like redraw it and not finish it. If you can see that. I should redraw it again and see if I gotten any better. <laughs> oh, back to One Direction. Okay. This is probably another one of my favorites of Lee, of course. This drawing is from a photo shoot and I am obsessed with it. <laughs> How good is that? I could probably do better now, but like, look at the detail. Can you see the detail? I love it. Ah! Another one of my favorites, like, <laughs> everything's my favorite, yeah. Um, it's a drawing of Harry for a change. Um, it's a photo of, at a concert, he was just kneeling on stage, and yeah. It's good from far away, like, the color's really good, and then you look close up, he's got a penis nose. Or, he's got a penis nose. Yeah. This is what I do at school when I don't want to do work. Not One Direction, but My Chemical Romance. I love this one so much. It's like, I don't even know what it's called. Like, am I a fake fan? Um, but it's their mascot from the Danger Days album. I don't know if it's their mascot, but you see it in the Na 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 video. And it's sick. Oh, look, it's Zane. <laughs> I didn't finish this one because it's so much black. I would have had to use so much black, so no thanks. So here is one that I did at school because drawing is better than doing work. It's a skull with flowers or a flower coming out of its head. I promise this is the last One Direction one for this book, okay? It's Louis, but it looks like Leonardo DiCaprio in a way, so... Let your mind tell you what you want to hear. Second last one for this book is Michael Clifford when he had his galaxy hair. As you can see, I drew it perfectly. Just kidding. It looks good far away, just like every single one of my drawings. And the last one for this book, PewDiePie! You can tell I drew this ages ago because it's when he did his fabulous video. Um, got the feather boa badly drawn and everything and... I love this drawing. It took me like two hours and I'm so proud of it. <laughs> so that's one book done. Let's try and get through the second one without Phoenix doing that. Because I've had to repeat myself about 50 times and my camera stopped recording once already. Okay, second book. This is mostly smudge stuff, but also, of course, an unfinished Harry Styles drawing. <laughs> Why not? This next one I think is the very last realistic drawing I did on paper. And it is of Jamie's World, aka Jamie Curry. She kind of has a gorilla looking face, but oh well. This is ripped out from one of my school books because I thought this whole thing was awesome. It says smudge and it's like just a bouquet of flowers and it's whacking me in the head. Next drawing. This is the original drawing from one of my smudge designs. I think I called it Illuminati Wolf. Yeah, called Illuminati Wolf. This is the original drawing. I put color in it and everything, and then on the computer, I took all the color out because it looked 
really terrible. And yeah, this is the original for those who see things from smudge clothing or for those who have things from smudge clothing. Um, this is also the original, uh, what do I call it? Devil. <laughs> I think I just called it the devil. Um, but yeah, this is the original drawing. Um, this was Zombie Cat, like the very first drawing I did of Zombie Cat, but then I ended up changing it. Oh, look! Here's a drawing of Louie that I didn't finish because I couldn't be bothered. It was going pretty well, like look at that. Oh my god, I forgot I did this drawing. I did this at school. Like, I think it was in Indonesian. And I drew this because I didn't want to do any of my work. Like, look at it! How cool is it? Anyway, here's Zombie Cat. I don't know why Zombie Cat has horns. Um, yeah, that design isn't on Smudge anymore because didn't get any sales. This one, I wanted to remake the devil drawing, but make it more evil. I did that at school. Thank you, Alex, for writing on that page. Um, here's the original drawing of the, the zombie metal hand. I really love the bottom part, like the detail on the bottom. I just love that style. If you want to check out a really cool artist who does like this kind of detail, check out Jordan Debney. He's from New Zealand and I really want to buy something from him, but I don't have money. <laughs> but like he's, he's my favorite artist and maybe I should get a tattoo of his work. I did email him asking if like asking what his prices are to make something to design something for smudge. And it was like $300, so I can't afford that. Here is a completed zombie cat um, design. I did this at school in my um, design class. I signed it as a joke, like this isn't even my signature, and I said I'd send it to my friend Adrian. This drawing didn't really go far. I wanted to do something with the cat, and I was like really tired, so it didn't look that good. But then, the next day, I pulled this out of my butt, and you might know that on Smudge Clothing as the Sphinx Cat design. And you might know this design as the Keep It Real Alien. This next one I'm very proud of. It is the Punk Boy. That is the original. And then you see it, which I will show right here. Um, I like completely made that, this design from here. Which I'm so proud of. This was so, that was so fun to make. Oh! That's it. <laughs> oh, before I go, I want to show you on the sides and stuff, I want to show you my paintings that are at Mum's. I didn't bring any of my paintings. All right. So, there is my favorite painting in the entire whole wide world that I have done. Um, I did it in 2013. It's when Louis Tomlinson had his very first soccer game and there was a there was one photo and I painted that photo and it's been hanging up on my back wall behind my desk at Mum's house uh, ever since I painted it. it was like three years ago three or four years ago and I that's I'm so proud of that <laughs> I love it so much I've got Phoenix here with me now so hopefully she won't scream as loud anyway. Um, another one of my paintings is of Mitchell Musso. It's like a posterized black and white um, painting and he said that he wants it <laughs> and I haven't sent it to him yet. Are you talking now? You're happy? Let me just... <laughs> okay. Okay, now one more painting. Uh, it was a small one, same size as the Mitchell one. And it's of just it's like a landscape horizon photo and it's really, really, stop it, really awesome. Um, took me about two or three hours and I think that was the last painting I did. Um, and I'm very proud of that one. Anyway, I have to go. She wants to grab everything and she wants to play. Stop, please. Um, so we're going to go play. I'm going to go take my wig off because I'm sweating. I'm really sorry for not uploading, we were just settling into the house, it's been very hot and this house 
gets really hot. So I haven't really had much of a chance to film because like the house has been messy. Phoenix never wants to be alone. I hope I can film more. I'm really sorry for being away for so long. Hopefully the house tour will be up soon. Hopefully I get to film it soon. Um, yeah, please stick around. I don't want to be away from YouTube because I love making videos so much. Anyway, I'm going to stop so I can take this wig off. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you are an artist too. I would like to see your artwork. So like, tell me your Instagram or your Twitter or something where you post art because that would be really cool to see. Um, also comment some video ideas because another reason why I wasn't uploading, I had no idea what to film. <laughs> Please subscribe if you're not already, that will really mean a lot to me, like it really, really would mean a lot to me. We just hit 500 subscribers and I really could not wait to hit a thousand, that'd be so exciting. Anyway, subscribe, goodbye. <laughs> Why so much? I think it's just like, it's like drawing that I've ever done. This next one... Phoenix, please! over the bin.